guys, it's your girl Sabi with Harmonious Abundance back with another video. Today's video is gonna be five signs. It's time to get out of that relationship. Yes. Okay, now let's go ahead and get right into it because I know that if you clicked on this video, you want some answers. Right, well, pretty much my video today is going to be confirming your whether or not your intuition is right. Most likely it is. When it's time to leave, it's time to leave. Sign number one. You sacrificed your happiness to be with this person. So, say that it, what makes you super happy is to go traveling, to take trips. Say you got offered a really, really good job, but you have to travel for your job. And this is the job of your dreams. But you said no, you rejected it because you have so much love and respect for your partner. If your partner lets you, that that's a huge red flag. Like, Because when you really love somebody, you want the best for them. You want them to be happy. Okay? And that's just that on that. How are you gonna grow in your purpose when your partner won't let you? Number two, you feel emotionally drained. You know, communication is key, right? So whenever you're trying to communicate to your partner that something's on your heart, or something's bothering you, you're trying to be extra nice. You're walking on eggshells, trying to get, you know, trying to get your point across, and it just seems like y'all are always clashing, y'all are always bumping heads no matter what. Like, you, there's no way that you can say it. Y'all are going to argue. That leaves you emotionally drained, okay? Because you know in your heart that you would never want anything to be bothering your partner, all right? You know in your heart that if your partner came to you with something that you would um, listen with your whole heart, right? But they're not doing that for you? Yeah, that's a red flag. Because, honey, communication is key, period. Three. They never apologize properly to you. Whenever it's time to apologize to you, the apology seems empty. It feels empty. They're always like, I'm sorry, but... That but, you know? They never take accountability for their actions. So just to shut you up, they try to sweep it under the rug. That's a red flag right there. Because that, that also goes hand in hand with communication, okay? A relationship cannot work without proper communication. And if they're constantly trying to rush through the conversation, constantly trying to sweep things under the rug, there will be no effective communication. And communication is necessary for a long-term relationship, okay? I'm not going to do it to y'all again. <laughs> Moving on. Four. Things seem really one-sided, okay? If you feel like you're the only one putting in emotional effort to, to carry the relationship along, if you're the only one putting in um, time and effort into making the relationship what it is, the relationship is gonna turn into a burden. And you don't want that. Nobody wants that, okay? It's supposed to be yin and yang. It's supposed to be I scratch your back, you scratch mine, okay? It's not supposed to be just, you know, you're not anyone's servant, okay? You're not anyone's servant. Number five, the respect is lost. So that includes like name calling, saying really nasty things to each other when you're upset, okay? That is not unconditional love, all right? I'm here to tell you that is not love at all, period. Because when you love somebody, even when you have a disagreement, uh, when you love somebody, even when you have a disagreement with them, you're still not going to say things that hit below the belt. You're still not going to say things that will hurt them, that you know will hurt your person. You're not going to do it because if you really love that person, you will not want to see them cry. You will not want to see them upset. You do not want to irritate their insecurities. You just, you just want your person, whoever you're with, to feel good with you, all right? And if you're, having a, if you're having a disagreement, you just simply want your side to be understood, okay? Nothing more, nothing less. It shouldn't be a, a battle of words. That is not love, okay? That is not unconditional love. And I think the real paradigm for love is gardener flower. So the relationship that a gardener has with a flower is the, the gardener wants the flower to be what the flower is designed to be, not what the gardener wants the flower to be. You want the flower to bloom and to blossom and to become what it wants to be. You want it to become what God designed it to be. You're not demanding that it become what you need it to be for your ego. Anything other than all of your gifts wide open, giving and nourishing this flower into their greatness is not love. Love 
is spelled L-U-V. Listen, understand, and validate what you hear as true. Listening is a magnificent superpower, really deep listening. And we, we can't listen if you got something that we want to say. Listening is a connected energy, learning how to quiet your own mind and quiet your own thoughts and quiet your own needs and desires and listen to what the other person is saying. You is understand that you have to truly understand what the person is saying to you. There's nothing that feels better to a human being than to feel understood. The mission is to thoroughly and completely understand what the person is saying. And what has been helpful for me is to repeat back what the person has said to you. And then the V is validate. The things that you recognize as true in what they say, validate them as true. Yes, I get it. I understand that. I see that. Got it. So the validation is a huge part of creating a loving environment with a person. L-U-V. Listen, understand, validate. At its core, I think love is help. Everybody is having a hard time. So love is really devotion to their struggle. It's when you're committed to helping somebody with their life, helping them to suffer less, you know, helping them to manage their minds and their emotions. I think love is a deep desire for our loved ones' growth and their blossoming and their all-around well-being. When you love somebody, you want them to feel good. You want them to be happy and you want to see them succeed in life and love really demands an in-depth understanding of their hopes and their dreams and their fears their needs and trauma i think love is giving and sharing our gifts for the purpose of nurturing them and empowering them and helping them to create their greatest joys all right you guys I just want to end out this video by saying that love should not hurt. If you feel that you're in love and you're constantly going through pain, get out of that relationship. Love is supposed to bring happiness. Love is supposed to make you feel good inside. Love is kind. Love is warm. Love is felt. And if you're not feeling the love, then there's no love there. Period. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And share this video if you feel that you have a friend that may need to hear this. Go ahead and share it to them. Let them know, you know, put them on game. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. I love you guys so much. Stay blessed. Peace. Oh, and follow me on my social media at Savvy the Butterfly. I love you guys. Stay blessed and stay safe out here in these Corona streets. Peace. Like and subscribe. Find me to get out of that relationship, okay? Yes, all right. Now let's get into this video. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, so cringy.